Hey guys, oh my god, I'm hot already. Let me fix my outfit. Hey guys, so I'm gonna show you my full beat fall makeup. Let's get into it. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with the brows. Um yeah so i'm looking into my phone literally <laughs> to film my makeup so if i'm looking i hope it i don't look crazy anyway so what i do for my brows right now my favorite brow pencil is the benefit um precisely my brow pencil and i use the shade number five this brow pencil is like just i don't know i just love the way it feels in my brows um i'm not gonna i'm gonna be honest i need like another mirror for the brows but yeah so when i do my brows i honestly just fill in the shape and finished brow not finished brow i ate so much food i feel disgusting So I'm going to do my other brow to finish it off sometimes with eyebrow gel. The eyebrow gel I use is like this old Anastasia one, but I honestly want like a better one because I feel like this sometimes becomes a little crusty, I guess. I don't know. I, maybe that's how all brow gel is. So moisturizer I'm using right now is the Pharmacy Honey Halo. Um, this is such a good moisturizer, especially if you have dry skin. Oh, like, I do do, like, serums and all that stuff, but honestly, I don't know. I don't feel like that's always necessary. So, I'm just gonna use moisturizer and primer today. It is so thick. This is really good if you have dry skin. It makes my skin, like, it makes my skin really hydrated, um, but it's not, like, oily, if you know what I mean. I'm on my skin at Urban Decay All Nighter. I really like this primer. Um, don't judge me. So, I'm gonna first put some, like, right where I'm about to first do my makeup, which is the concealer. And that's where I don't want it to crease. But yeah, so that's the Urban Decay all-nighter primer like wow i've seen the difference with my makeup when i started using this i'm not gonna lie then for my concealer i use the born this way Too faced um in vanilla i really love this concealer y'all um i used to use a lot of it but honestly now a little goes a long way anyways i take first like this little brush and go like this to blend it out i'm also gonna put some honestly like right here but my foundation is full coverage but i just need a little extra as i'm having some breakouts so i blend it out a little bit but it's like messy like a fluffy brush this is literally from the bee supply store it's like 99 cents Okay guys, now we're gonna do foundation. So the foundation I've been using is the Juvia's Place. This foundation is, oh my God, like full coverage, fire. Like I love it. Um, it You literally need so little, like so little. So it is, vel it says a velvety matte foundation. That's literally what it is. Um, I use the shade G Giza, Giza, Giza 540. But I'm gonna literally show you like how much you need for your whole face. Like, literally, I'm going to start with this much. Um, because you don't need a lot. If I'm being honest. And then I like to take brushes like this. So, this is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. And I like to blend out. Yeah, clearly, um, the 
doesn't really match me anymore. But it's fine. Yeah, it's a kick. Go in with my beauty blender and like just to help blend everything out. As you can see, I didn't put too much on my forehead because then I'm going to contour and also um what's the word? Like correct, I guess. Go back in with concealer and highlight a little bit of my I do my contour. I use this Revolution foundation stick um, and I do the shade F12. And then go like this. Under my lip, I like to put some here. And then I use a stippling brush. But I like to put a little bit of either water or this is setting spray to damp it and blend it all in. And when I blend it in, I just kind of go like dabby motions. If you're too harsh, you can like mess up, you know, your own. You can like mess up the texture of the makeup. So I'm just going to go like this. And then I use very little, but I blend it out um, on the, like, my jawline and then bring it here to kind of, like, make it a little more dramatic, I guess, my jawline. And then, of course, with my nose, I like to bring it up, like, to right here. Like that. And then same on this side. That's a kick. All this is to... So cute don't do like too much on the tip you just want to go like this side and this side and yeah that's how i contour my face i'm beauty blender and honestly just help finish blending it all out period okay so now i'm gonna go in with my concealer and i go in after contour and everything just go like right here right here okay guys so now i blended in my concealer um after my contour i don't even know if you can see my makeup well honestly literally so i put my concealer here and my chin i blend it all out and now i'm gonna bake my favorite powder is the beauty bakery flower like this is really that girl i take my beauty blender and bake under my eyes what was i gonna say this powder i use the shade oat which is their translucent but doesn't have no backlash or anything like that so yeah i just go honestly everywhere that i put the concealer and here so yeah that's where I bake my face. While I bake, I contour, and then I remove everything and I set my makeup. I literally found this palette at TJ Maxx. It's the Iggy Times BH Cosmetics to Totally Snatched Palette. This was like $5. And anyways, I add the bronzer. I really like this bronzer. It's like super natural and pretty. Um, and I add bronzer there, then I add bronzer here. Period. Uh, I add some on my nose. And I'm just gonna add a little bit under here. Then, um, I am going to take this little, like, powder brush. Everybody knows this brush. Um, and I like to take little, like, light powder that this um, palette has. And I just put it, like, in the inner corner of my eye. And, yeah, I feel like it, I don't know. 
like it looks so good Oops. period this is how i brush off the powder period um i'm not gonna lie guys i love blush i love it so this is the blush i'm using right now this one is the fresh peach i love it um i love like a pinky blush it's so cute i never used to use blush and if you don't use blush you're missing out i like the apple on my cheeks for my eyes i honestly just do like a little bronzer in the eye but kick i like to add um mascara in my bottom lashes and let me see period um okay guys i had to delete some apps and some storage but this is the finished makeup look it is so cute i don't know what didn't like got cut out but i just added some mascara on my under lashes um but i want to show you guys my lip combo okay guys i suck so my phone was just giving me storage problems because i'm filming on my phone but I'm going to show you guys the lip combo that I use. This is my favorite lip combo. But I am a little confused because I use the Kylie lip pencil. This is the most fire um, nude. It's the 808 Kylie. But guys, what do you do when the little tip like runs out? Like, do you shave it? Like, do you shave this pencil? I don't know. Do I have to buy a new one? And then for the lipstick, I use the Revolution Plumping Lip Gloss and Candy. And I'm going to like retouch it so you guys can see how good it looks. Oh, and then to set my makeup, I go with all nighter spray. And that's how it looks. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, sorry, it's like discombobulated. But... But yeah, I'm going to do some more <laughs> vlogs and fun videos for you guys. Um, if you watched my video, enjoyed it, and are still sad through the whole thing, I hope you enjoyed it. And please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.